Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. Today we have candle empties for the month of July. I think I did empties in June, so I think this is just my, this month. Um, so let's get into it, shall we? Okay, let's start with this one. This is a Chesapeake Bay candle forest honey. This is not a cancel candle I purchased. I was on eBay looking for the Root Candle Pear and Bourbon, I think is the name of it. It's a new one. And um, I was just searching around just to see if there was any available. And there was one for $11.99. Like, whoa, okay, I'm going to order that immediately. But this is what came. So I uh, contacted the seller, no response. Contacted the seller again, no response. I put in a PayPal, you know, discrepancy thing, whatever. And then I got my money back, which... I'd rather have had the candle, but anyway, so I had this one. Um, when I first got it, of course, it won't do it now because it's all burned, but the whole candle just like plopped right out. The burn was pretty good. Um, it, you know, there's no um, residue all the way down, but it, self, it, it was a single wick candle and it self-extinguished. It floated to the side and then it self-extinguished. So I didn't love it enough to bother getting the rest of the wax out. Uh, the throw was okay here in the kitchen, maybe like a seven. Um, it wasn't one of my favorite scents. It was fresh. There was honey. I got a little bit of the forest or greenery note. It was okay. Would I repurchase it again? Probably not. But the burn was okay. And the throw was okay. So I can't really say more than that. Okay. This is a Halloween candle that I purchased last year from Kringle in the Black Cat scent. Is there scent notes on here? I don't even know because I don't. This is my very first uh, Kringle candle. Um, it burned almost all the way down. It's about down to there. And it's very smoky. Um, I don't know what else is in there, but I, I enjoyed it because I kind of like those smoky scents. But I'm trying to... I have another... Uh, Halloween candle going in the living room from last year because I do want to possibly purchase a just a couple Halloween candles for this year. Okay, so we have a few more of the Glade uh, Amber. What is it called? Da -da 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 -da. What is it called? Amber. Here, I bet it's on the bottom. It's not on the bottom. Anyway, they're in a black package. The, the amber candles from Glade that come in a set of two or a bigger one. And this is one of the first candles that I purchased that I actually flipped me to amber. Believe it or not, this was the candle. Um, so anyway, when I see these, I always pick up a couple for the bathroom. They soot usually, this one sooted, this one sooted. Uh, up at the top where the jar is wider, it takes a little bit longer for it to pool out. But then once again, it gets down to the middle part, it burns just fine. It goes all the way down to the bottom. There's no wasted wax. In the bathroom, they perform just fine. Six or seven out of ten. You know, it's certainly present when you walk into the little room like a bathroom. Uh, be good in like a, maybe a little laundry room, mud room, a small space. But I do like it. And if you're kind of on the fence about amber... Or like me, like I wanted nothing to do with Amber, let alone on the fence. Um, this was the one that turned it around for me. So you might just try this one. Now, not saying I like all Amber scents, but some that are have are nicely blended with a few other notes. Um, I'm, I really, really like. Another Amber favorite of mine is Black Amber Plum from uh, Goose Creek. And is there something else that I like in Amber? I think there is, but I can't remember what it is right now. But anyway, so check that one out. Glade, Amber, something in a black package. You'll know what I mean. Okay, this is uh, from Homeworks Farm Stand Blueberry. Fresh Orchard Blueberries, Blackberries, Cassis, Almond Sugar, and Vanilla Bean. So this, um, where is it? Oh, it's over there. Never mind. That's my messy sensi. Oh, uh, see up on the top shelf right there? right? It's so hard to do backwards. Right there, there is a little, uh, very authentic looking blueberry basket. Ignore the mess. I, it's on my Scentsy business. I have, I don't have an, like a proper office, so it has to go there. Anyhow, um, 
This is so good. The, when these went on clearance or in the as is department, I bought like, I think two more sets of two of them because I really love it that much. Uh, on the last burn last night, these wicks traveled way out, way, way, way out. So it was almost done anyway. So we're going to call that done. And yes, I would repurchase them. They're very, very, very good. Um, let's see. This was in the bathroom. It's one of the Illum candles that was that set of three that I hauled a few weeks ago. And this is in wood fire. They're little um, mercury glass. Very, very pretty when lit. Love the smell. Uh, it's self-extinguished. You can even see the wick clip. Maybe you can't. Just kind of like a marshmallow fireside or like that kind of like smoky, but not total smoke. It had like a little vanilla or something in it to kind of tame down the smoke. It was really good. I really enjoyed it. And I still have two left. It came in a set of three. And I got that and a few others from the Illum website. And I did a haul on my channel. You can go back and watch that. Uh, from Trader Joe's, the grapefruit scented candle. This is the third Trader Joe's candle I've had. The other two, one was peony something. The other one was, I, I can't remember. I don't know. And so I love grapefruit candles. I love to eat anything grapefruit. I love it. Uh, and I do remember my friend Kevin in Florida saying that he got this one and this and it tunneled for him. And at that time, I was burning my peony one. It's like, oh, mine's doing great. The other two didn't have any problems whatsoever. But lo and behold, the grapefruit one tunneled. So I don't know why this one did and the others did not. I don't know. But it's super strong grapefruit scent. Very, very authentic. So if you like grapefruit scented candles, definitely check out uh, Trader Joe's grapefruit candle. There's a new one out now. I think it's mango something or other. I saw it the other day in the store, but I didn't pick it up. Okay, from, and the rest are Bath and Body Works. And this is Black Tie. This is one of the single wick candles. This is really nice. I had this in the bathroom as well. Uh, let's see. I know we'll have some scent notes here. Um, green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. This was very, you know, masculine-ish, you know, clean, body washy, you know, all that those descriptives all apply. It was very, very good. I really enjoyed that one a lot. I would repurchase that. I think, um, I think if there's another single wick sale, there was one a while back, like, I don't know, maybe three, four, six months ago. And the single wicks were, I shouldn't do this, right? Uh, the single works wicks were, I believe $6 and I did buy quite a few. So I would buy, I would do that again. If they have another, another good single wick sale, I would probably stock up. Okay, here's where it gets a little bit dicey. So this is a blueberry pie. The ever popular blueberry pie, cult classic, everybody loves it. Juicy blueberries, flaky crust, sugar crystals, and of course the essential oils. I didn't love it. I liked it. I didn't go gaga over it. I definitely get the pie crust. I actually get the pie crust first and I get the, it wasn't a strong blueberry scent for me. It was a strong pie crust scent to me. Scent to me. Now, if I had been smart, I should have melted these together. I actually do have one more of these and one more of these. So next time I will burn them together. But on its own, I have to say, I mean, I'm sure I'm the only one um, it did sort a little bit too, but yeah, I, I, I kept burning it. And like, I kept thinking, why am I not smelling blueberries? Like the whole, the whole way down. It's like, what am I missing here? Because everybody loves this candle. I must be doing something wrong. Uh, but I just didn't love it. Okay. Moving on. Vanilla chai latte. And this is steamed coconut milk, chai spices, vanilla bean, black tea. This one I did love. I I, I shouldn't say love. I really, really enjoyed the scent. The throw was light, like maybe a six. It was really hard to pick up. Even with the chai spices, you would think that the spice note would make it a little more prominent, but it didn't. It was a light thrower for me, but I did enjoy the scent. Uh, Saltwater Breeze. Um, this is fresh linen, violet leaves, white water blossom. This one I did love. And this was in the living room. Very fresh, aquatic. Again, nothing unique. I can give you a million different descriptors, but 
fresh aquatic is what I will say. And it was good. And the throw was seven, seven and a half, pretty, pretty decent. I don't have a big living room, so it was very well, you know, uh, present. This one is Waikiki Beach Coconut. And I don't really care what the packaging, I'm not huge on packaging. Some are really great. It doesn't really matter because I have so many candle holders um, that I usually just use them in that. But anyhow, off topic. Okay, Waikiki Beach Coconut is tropical white coconut, saltwater breezes, sun bleached woods. This was a little too tropical for me. Yeah, tropical white coconut. Yeah, I, you know, I go back and forth. Some coconut things I like, some coconut things I don't like. And I'm finding out just in this past few months of sniffing different, sniffing and melting and burning different coconut things, I don't care for the tropical coconut. If it's mixed with something or blended with something that kind of tames down that tropical end of it, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so it was a great thrower though, like eight, eight and a half, you know, eight, nine range around there, but I just didn't love the tropicalness. And I and I don't like the tro like really super tropical fruity things. It's the whole tropical category, I think, that doesn't do it for me. This one, however, I do love, and I'm glad I did get two of them, Vanilla Birch, and this is White Birch Bark, Madagascar Vanilla, and Warm Sandalwood. And Sandalwood is a, also a note that I'm coming to really, really love. This was very good. I definitely got the vanilla first. Definitely vanilla, um, and then I guess the birch would be next. Like a vanilla woodsy note, obviously. Uh, anyway, it was really good. So the other one, I'm on the fence. Do I want to chop it or do I want to burn it? The burn was great. All of these, all of these uh, Bath and Body Works that candles that I'm talking about now, I had no issues with any of them. They burned fine. They didn't have puny wicks. Uh, no s minimal, minimal, minimal sooting. I didn't have to cotton ball any of them. I didn't have to foil any of them. They all really did great. So no complaints with the burns, which is very happy news because we all know what happened a few years ago. Okay, and finally, Palo Santo, which I fell in love with. I don't know where I've been, you know, off, you know, definitely, you know, missed the boat on Palo Santo, but I'm trying to catch up now. Um, this is Palo Santo Wood, Warm Amber, and Soft Musk. Now, my friend Shante on Instagram is the one that told me about Palo Santo Wood. Was that Oud Wood? No, we're talking Palo Santo. I'm sure it was Palo Santo. And you can get little chunks of Palo Santo wood, and they have them on Amazon, and a little uh, dish that you put it in, you light the Palo Santo wood, and then you blow out the flame, but the smolder from the Palo Santo uh, fragrances the room. And so I am definitely need to get on that and get that Palo Santo wood in my house. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. So that is it for this month's candle uh, empties. I'm very intrigued by the Michaels candles. I might have to purchase some of those. There, this week, there is a huge 50% off sale on Colonial Candle website. I do have some on my cart. I have not uh, pushed the button on that yet. And then, of course, there's all the new fall candles from Bath & Body Works, which are so tempting because fall is really, fall and winter is really where my heart lies when it comes to home fragrance. Anyway. So that's it, everybody. Uh, stay tuned because August 1st, the new Scentsy catalog launches. So the new catalog, the new warmer of the month, which is the Bless This Home warmer. I put that up yesterday. And uh, there's a new charitable warmer in this catalog that goes to the Breast Foundation. Lots of new coming down the road. Um, just wait and see. It's going to be good. So I will see you then.